special disclaimer that I, Mystic, am an employee of Wizards of the Coast on the D&D team. Content warning. This stream may contain scenes and themes some find distressing. Mentions of blood, needles, injections, gore, graphic descriptions, drug use, general violence, and disturbing imagery may occur. Our cast will be using lines and veils. If you find scenes too disturbing, please feel comfortable exiting. Last time on Topia Podcast, the party have made it to Wimston, and while Scylla came face to face the priest of Maishiri at the temple, the rest of the party hung out at the Lying Woodpecker, where they learned that a party of lumberjacks were afraid of a creature they couldn't quite see attacking them while they work at their spot woods. Zibba volunteered the party to help them out, and a fight ensued. Scylla Having slept in on her own trajectory in Wimston, found out where the party went and runs to meet them. And that is where we find the party. Livy's going to use Bane on both of mm. these guys. You have yeah. to make, I think it's a charisma save. Yeah, it's charisma, which is so weird. Mm. Um, really not good. Four and a six. Mm. You know, shockingly, that, that doesn't save. It doesn't do it. <laughs> They're both bane <laughs> Uh, okay, so, uh, and I'm, and Livy, um, after playing a bit, is just going to look at them and then hoof it, uh, past, <laughs> past Marcus, because he's not about that life. Yeah, moving farther south away from both of the creatures while they're surrounded by Godfrey and Sibba, uh, Great. This is back to the first creature. They oh. cannot do anything other than make a saving throw. Uh, against... Livy's thoughts are... Oh, yeah, Livy's thoughts. Um, this morning was really nice when we were in a nice bed and not being attacked by monsters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a 12 on the save against Morgus's hideous laughter for the first one. Which fails as we had to Godfrey. Godfrey's just been reeling since taking this potion, just trying to get all of the voices ordered and organized. And he finally opens his eyes, seeing this uh, creature just laying into Ziba. Mm. He's going to move to the other side of it to flank. Yeah. And Advantage. then is going to take out his silvered short sword and try to stab it deep into its spine. Sweet. Uh, uh, A 13. Which one? Which one are you trying to hit? The one that uh, Ziba is fighting. And what does flank okay. give you in your Advantage rolls? Advantage on your rolls. Oh, so it's way better than that. Yeah. That's 22 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Okay. And I would like this creature to make a constitution saving throw. Ooh. Minus the d4 from Bane. Yeah, um, that's a one. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> yeah. so Godfrey goes to the back and his vision blurs over and he sees just like this clump of dark energy underneath this creature. And as he strikes in with his short sword, he hits straight into the middle of it, causing it to become stunned. As I oh. use a key point to use stunning strike Ooh. on this first attack. Yes! <laughs> what the uh, it also takes uh, nine points of silvered piercing damage. That's amazing. And then I come in to hit it. 
Uh, Great. It's another 22 to hit. <laughs> yeah. For five points of non-magical bludgeoning damage. As after the stab, Godfrey pulls out and he jumps up and he tries to grab the thing uh, from one of its by one of the spikes on its backs mm-hmm. and tries to pull it down and away from Ziba. Ooh. And then uh, he's going to try to drive his foot into its back and like kind of snap its back in the same way. Uh, 25 to hit. Yeah. For six points of non-magical bludgeoning damage. Uh, and then I'm going to sp- awesome. Yeah. spend another <laughs> key point to Flurry of Blows. Mm-hmm. Uh, 15 to hit. 15 hits. Okay. Uh, for nine points of non-magical bludgeoning. And uh, that's a natural 20. <laughs> and for this natural 20, I'm going to spend yet another key point to make this a uh, hand of harm oh, on top yeah. of this crit. Hell yeah. Oh my God. Uh, okay. Let me, I, I'm doing a lot of things. I'm making I sure I'm doing I feel like I just right blinked right. and all of a sudden I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Godfrey said, uh, not today, Satan. Uh, We're not today. I've got shit. these voices in my head and I know exactly where you're trying to dodge. So it's mm-hmm. time to, time to hit them good. So it's, 10 points of non-magical bludgeoning mm-hmm. plus uh, nine points of necrotic. Okay. For a total of 18, no, 19 points of damage from the crypt. Uh, uh, as Godfrey bends it back, he then gets its neck into... Uh, situation where he can try to start snapping it, and he starts to hear its bones crack. Yeah, you can also hear this creature screaming out in pain in your mind, as it just keeps repeating, like, infect, infect! Uh, But, like, in pain, um, and also out loud as it cries. Mm -hmm. You break one of the spines off its back, you get it in its headlock, and you turn its neck. This thing is uh, bloodied as you have done all of these intense things to it. Um, but it seems hardy. It's a hardy creature. Okay. And my All right. Morgus. Yeah. Morgus is now going to uh, just fall into the magic and his eyes are going to just burn on gold. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's going to reach out in front of him like across his side with his four fingers and that sort of gold thread that comes from nothing. He will just pull it back like a bowstring and release it. And Mm. this warbling mass of sort of like warped reality trailed by just all the blue, white and gold sparkles ever. It's going to go right toward the one that Godfrey and Ziba are fucking up. Mm -hmm. Um, Alma cast level two guiding bolt, please. Thank you. Great. Yeah. Um I shall I should roll for that though, mm-hmm. is what I should do. <laughs> yeah. How is a 14 to hit? Meets that, it. That advantage because it's Meets stuck. It. <laughs> <saw that. sighs> Give me a crit. I'll I'll take a 21 to No, wait. It's it's above a 21. I can't do the math. Yeah. Because it's it's a 20 25 to hit. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna. That is five d six. Eighteen radiant damage, and it's sparkly. <laughs> sparkly. So I'm adding guiding bolt on top of the stunning strike. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Sparkles never hurt anybody, right? Um, then Morgus is going to move and like Livy and Morgus are just going to do this like little domino thing. Okay. And I, I can't I can't move past Livy, but I would like to be on this side of Livy. So yeah. we're just going to play leap, leapfrog. Absolutely. <laughs> You're heading further south past, past Livy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. Great. What is Morgus thinking? Well, um, now that Morgus has just fallen 
sort of into the weave of magic uh, in combat, his thoughts... There really aren't words. It's just this deep thrum of focus from him when when he's in when his eyes are glowing when he's in that state he's he's not thinking so much as he is uh reacting mm. and feeling so right. Ziba. so i was most recently attacked by the one that godfrey just i don't know sliced like salami like yeah what just mm-hmm. yeah uh, all right um I think that Ziba will turn her back slightly on this creature that was uh, Morgus's mojo, mojo Jojo, like what, phasing on the ground? What, what mm-hmm. is he just like glitching? <laughs> um, <laughs> Pr- pretty, pretty much. It's it's like in slow motion. It and it like it twitches now and again in that phase. But yeah, um, and we'll spin around from that thinking that whatever is happening there probably won't change recently, hopefully, and <laughs> look towards this creature and I don't know if it's just like a split second, the Goffrey's just whipping by or, or something and just looks over at him like tearing the spike out of his back but he goes like almost for a split second like hesitates about like the screaming in her mind quiets for a second and just goes Holy crap, I want to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, she turns, you know, her ferocity then on this creature that has dealt her damage. Yeah, and both, we're going to both at advantage because the creature is stunned. Oh, alrighty then. That'll be a 19 to hit. That hits. That'll be 11 slashing damage. Nice. This creature is wounded at this point. Um, you slash a huge gaping wound um, right across where uh, Godfrey's silvered short sword also pierced on the other side, making this huge slash across the torso of this creature. Is there any way I could take one of its nails? I just think that'd be a cool dagger. You just want to pull one off? No, like I, I could try cutting it off. Try cutting it off. Yeah, you get another attack at advantage. Oh, that's good. I might need it. Yeah, I will need it. <laughs> um, so that is a, a limited a nat twenty for twenty seven. So I will take that. Hell yeah! That'll be for twenty four damage or 22 22 damage uh this creature had math. three hit points left so how does a critical cutting off its nail for you to use as a dagger <laughs> what does this look like how do you <laughs> um, i feel like i almost like overshot just taking the nail and actually like swiped through it's like the opposite direction and that just spelled out and at the end i cut off the nail i was looking for yeah amazing <laughs> Like almost more of an accident than anything, but I got the nail. You you got a nail, yeah. Uh, great. At this point, <laughs> from the distance, um, you see Scylla running up from the road, pushing past the uh, workers who are running away from this commotion um, toward you all. Do you say anything to your friend, Scylla? <laughs> Am I am I up an initiative first off? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think before anybody sees or hears anything, you feel and particularly uh, let's see. I'd say particularly Ziba, Livy, and Morgus feel and notice at the bottoms of your feet start to get a little bit warmer. Mm. And as you sort of look down and feel this, start springing up fresh Lily of the Valley sprouts. Um, And on you is being cast aid, and you each receive five to your current uh, hit points and hit point maximum. Hey, this is going to do like a little hot foot dance for a second. Is that it? <laughs> hot foot, hot foot. 
Lily's just gonna be like, oh. What is Those Lily sort of pop up and, and soothe any, any uh, you know, pains that have happened while I've been away. And she runs up. Uh, and here's my, my second clarifying question. Paladin two attacks, two spells, one spell, one hit. But you still I only have one action. If you use it to keep, cast a spell, you cannot make any attacks. Mm-hmm. If you cast Ooh. a spell as a bonus action, you can still make two attacks with your attack action. I'm still too dumb to understand this. So <laughs> that's also, not true. That's your first only... time. Oh, no, I'm not. I will get it eventually. But baby's first I also paladin think you can is only use a spell once. I think, unless I am woefully misunderstood, mistaken. I, think that's, I thought it was one spell slot. You do a spell like a cantrip. Like, like long, long story short, of the options you have for your action, if you choose to attack, you get two dice rolls. If you cast a spell, that's what you do instead. Yes, that makes so much sense. Thank you. Unless the spell is a bonus action, then you can choose to use your action for an attack. Yes, fantastic. You, yeah. Cool. Uh. Having aided, uh, Scylla runs up and sort of skids as far as she can before coming to a halt. Great. Uh, hey, sorry. Enjoy your nap? Uh, enjoys a... Anyway, uh, is everyone okay? Uh, the my fuck? Feet, my feet are warm, but it's kind of nice. Too too warm, too? And she sort of pulls back a little bit, and you see the flowers start to rescind into the earth. No, it was just a little startling. You feel better? Yes. Yes, I do. And she stands at the ready. All right. Um, the... The creature that would go next has been healed. So that is to Livy. Okay. Uh, hmm. I will also say that when Scylla enters uh, the space with everyone, her thoughts also enter Godfrey's mind. Uh, uh, as, as Scylla runs up, um, it's quieter than normal. It's it's not as hurried as it was the last time she ran up. It's, okay, I'm here. Who do you see? Good. Okay, there, there, there. Great. Yeah. Livy. I, I'm going to use uh, Dissonant Whispers. Great. It's a wisdom save of 15. Great. You've made Along this... Along with the uh, fame. Made these rolls extra difficult for me. I just want to say. Yes. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> um, that's a five. Five. Mm, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, and that's fourteen. And th- this thing is gonna have to try to get as far away from me as it can. Well, it can't move because it's stuck in a time warp. So it's it's just going to be tortured. Although I do think it does get to remake a save. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Um. Great. That's a one with (laughs) aim at disadvantage. Yay! Or should I mean it's not advantage, isn't it? For me. Can oh, can okay. Morgus just like give Livy a high five because you yeah. are in wizard combo? Like <laughs> it's actually a nine, brother. but still, yes, still spellcaster combo. Um, <laughs> fantastic. At this moment, it's also that creature's turn, so it's gonna make another save against this vicious spell. But it- <laughs> <laughs> Morgus um, said not today. Um. It's a six. And Godfrey 
in your with your normal years without your detect thoughts your beautiful highest passive perception of the group um you hear a rustling in the trees as a blue skinned creature seems to be moving through them toward the party I feel like we've seen this guy before. Or Gabri has. I don't know if I. Oh, thank that. God I didn't try climbing the trees like I thought I was going. Oh. <laughs> <Can you> imagine. <laughs> oh, no. That's where I was going to do it, too. Uh, oh, this wow. is awkward. We go to your turn, Godfrey. Uh, Godfrey looks up, notices it, kicks this creature off of his short sword, just letting it flop into the dirt uh, in front of him. He's going to point up at the trees and say, there's one more coming in. Uh, finish this one quickly. And then he's going to uh, dash over, doing a little bit of a hop jump to roll over to the other side of the slab that's just a flesh. schisming in mm. spot. Mm -hmm. And he's going to really try to gauge his his strike to try to stab it in the heart. Yeah. Where he thinks the heart should be. Uh, 25 to hit. 25 hits. Or uh, 10 points of silvered piercing damage. Great. Wisdom saving throw. Along with Bane. <laughs> 16. DC 17. Ah! Okay. <laughs> then he's going to try to stab it again oh. with that short sword. Yeah. Uh, 26 to hit. Yeah. Or uh, seven points of silvered piercing damage. Nice. Wisdom and another save. save. <laughs> What's funny is uh, these creatures get advantage on saves against magic, so I'm rolling at advantage, but then also adding Bane, so I have four <laughs> dice in my hands right now. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Uh, 13 will fail. <laughs> oh, I Man. love Bane. I love oh. Bane so much. Well, I was a fool. Just use a bonus action to try to just do a Godfrey special and pull an eyeball out. Okay. <laughs> a Godfrey special. Why is that Godfrey special? <laughs> 22 to hit. Yeah. I will answer no questions at this time. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> five points of uh, non-magical bludgeoning damage. Okay, you pull an eyeball out. Okay. Yo, what's um, your Utopia's gimmick? Eyeballs. We pull out eyeballs. Creatures. Look, I've been playing a lot of Tears of the Kingdom recently. Yes. <laughs> Is eyeballs blooded. are weak points. Creatures uh, blood. Anyway, that's my turn. Great. Morgus. Okay. Um... Hmm. Hmm. What's the range of this spell? I keep... I don't know it offhand. Oh. Well, that's kind of nice. That's, uh... Quite the range. That is quite the range. I think Morgus... Is, he's going to turn over to Scylla... And there's going to be this like reverberation as my voice deepens a little go a little bit and goes, "Are you willing, Scylla? And he'll reach out a hand. You know what this means. You've seen it before in combat. I'm gonna pop you somewhere. Do it. Okay. I, I I would. Mor Morgus is going to twist his hands and clench his fists. His fists, but very gently in this case. There's going to be a sort of, uh, just like a blur. As Scylla is with, with, with some sparkles, I want her to be um, right over by Ziba and Godfrey mm -hmm. um, at a point. Probably, let me do this right there. That's great. Great. Where she has the ability to choose or in, to attack or intercept um, at her next turn. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, so the slabs are in sort of a triangular shape, propping Scylla right in the center of them. Perfect. Yeah. Could yeah. not have commute. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then Morgus is going to do a little movie move. 
I I can't I can't move my little guy. Five, ten, fifteen, oh, I'm twenty, twenty five. I'm gonna move to the front of Livy. Ooh. Just, leap just, frog. We're just, we're, yeah, we're just gonna leapfrog. <laughs> <laughs> more more just Olivia, Olivia we're just <laughs> we're just like waltzing with one another in combat. <laughs> Six seconds to <laughs> like the little the little twirl in my little rose. <laughs> What's Morgus thinking? Lots like we high sparkles. five and crawl. <laughs> um You know that meme that just has the person and all of the equations are in the air? <laughs> you f- you feel the the math. Mm. In your head, Godfrey, as Morgus goes, I'm going to just make reality be what I want it to be. And Scylla's going to be there now. Yeah. So you, you, yeah. you feel the math. Beautiful. Zippa. <sighs> Is it in the tree? No, it's beneath the tree. Ah. Because I'll be honest, second year, like, over there in the tree, I feel like only word that Zippa heard was tree. <laughs> and is immediately just going to be like, tree? That one? <laughs> it just runs straight for it. And then be like, crap, what the fuck did Silly get here? <laughs> 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 hey! What's going to happen here? Yeah. We do a little little swipe around Scylla. Nice. <laughs> and then because we're sliding, this we're gonna we're gonna play this off like it's baseball. We're gonna go for the knees. Yeah. Just sliding into it. That'll be twenty three to hit. <laughs> That'll hit. Y'all are rolling so hard. Ten slashing damage. Nice. Got him good. Now we aim for the back of the knees. That'll be a 21 to hit. <laughs> yes. Perfect, perfect. For another 10 slashing damage. We got the front, we got the back, boys. There's still some ghosts over there helping out Godfrey. All we heard was tree. End of story. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Tree. Any, uh, you're raging, so that's up. You moved. That's to Scylla. Uh, Scylla has, as she pops into this space already, has her arm outstretched and reached up to the sky. But as Ziva comes flying out the side in her peripheral and she goes, oh shit, when did Scylla get here? And Scylla goes, hey, (laughs) fuck, realizing that Ziva is now too close to the one that she was going to attack, Mm -hmm. pulls her hand back and reaches down with her right hand, pulls her sword out, turns around to the one behind her. Yeah. uh, Advantage. And and will swing on uh, matey boy behind her. Advantage for flanking and stupid spell. Fantastic. (laughs) Uh, great. Uh, well, so one is a 21 to hit, the other is a 17. Yep, both will hit. Let great. me make uh, my save for the first one. So that was the advantage, I, unless you want to count those both as the attacks. Oh, so no, no, no that, that makes sense. Um, it doesn't succeed uh, to break the spell. Great. This Bane, man. <laughs> Oh, my dear. so good. Where the fuck are all my DAs? Every boss monster. Here's the <laughs> thing. Um, I would have to roll like uh, an 18, 19, or 20 yep. to break this. Yep. So. So here's a thing. Uh, when this comes down, I'm also gonna pack in uh, Divine Smite on it. Hell yeah, you are. Hell yeah, you are. Uh, so as it makes contact, uh, this strike of Crimson comes off for yeah. uh, 10, 11 damage. Okay. And then, if I may, I'll have the same again, please. Uh, 11 is the total slashing and Divine Smite. Yes. Did you want that broken up? No. Um, okay. What type? I think I might be getting my playtest and my normal rules mixed up. Divine Smite doesn't have a differentiating 
damage type currently, mm-hmm. right? It's Radi- radiant. Radiant, radiant damage. Radiant. Is, it, is it radiant or weapon damage? Radiant. It's radiant. Okay. It's like attack is weapon damage. Thank okay. you. <sighs> I thought maybe this would happen yeah. someday, and it's happening right <laughs> now. Okay. You got this. Great. Second attack at advantage. Thank you. Uh, well, all right. So, uh, 18 plus five uh-huh. is the highest on that. There we go. Yeah, yeah that is. Cool. Uh, and <laughs> that, thank you. <laughs> and same again. Wait, are, is, are you attacking at advantage? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would say again, the sword comes down and as it makes contact for eight uh, damage for both slashing and radiant. Uh, same, that shock of crimson comes off. Sweet. Um, another wisdom save. Nope. And uh, <laughs> I just feel like I shouldn't even be rolling them at this point. Um, <laughs> creature is, is bloodied. I already said that, but I just want to reiterate uh, still bloodied. As we go to Libby. Um. Oh, actually, I should. Libby uh, n- knows this is not going to do a lot of damage, but he wants to give that big guy some sort of disadvantage. Mm. Uh, so he's going to do incessant. He's going to. Um. He's going to say, uh, "Come forth, puppers." And he's going to use incessant barking at the big blue one. Okay. And at this time, it's going to be a little baby poodle. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Is incessant barking concentration? This is a no, custom it's not. spell. It's instantaneous. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. It's just vicious mockery, reskin. Mm. Nice. Um, so I just want to say this for prosperity. Um, uh-huh. Again, this creature is not banned. I rolled uh, at advantage because it's a slab. I rolled a three and an at one, but the slab has minus two to wisdom, so I rolled two ones, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> <sighs> I gave you all my good dice rolls when we started. <laughs> all of the luck. <laughs> I already had multiple I'm nat 20s tonight. I, I don't know what you did. You what? gave them all up. <laughs> I'm taking it all. It's all, all right. mine. Uh, how much damage do we have, Levi? Uh, 2d4, and it has... Um, <laughs> max damage. Disadvantage. <laughs> max, max damage, baby! Well, almost max. It's six. One, six four. damage. One, two. Yeah. Um, what type of damage is incessant barking? It's... Sonic damage, I think, is what was it's, written on the spell. Yeah. Psychic damage is. is the equivalent, so cool. Uh great. I I love this for this. I I'm I'm having a great There's time. It's a tiny little poodle um who's a little bit top heavy and has <laughs> is just barking at its at its heels. I love this. <laughs> Um, great. Um, the one in the thing, and the thing is gonna roll again. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, thing. Yeah, (laughs) thing. Having a good time. Having a good time. Uh, time. But the other one. Can't stop me now. Is going to take its action economy against Sibba, who is actively engaged with it. So, and I'm like crouch slid on the ground. So I feel like I'm just looking up like, oh, this is taller than I thought. Yeah, <laughs> they are uh, large creatures. This one is blue, kind of hunched over. Also still has long claws and nails and spikes coming out of its back. It seems to be like an older evolution of the red ones it you've is, been fighting. It is also very cute. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the drawing. It is Relative. very cute. Um, great. Okay. First attack. That's a 16 to hit. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, me a bit. Okay. With, with, did you use disadvantage? Doesn't have disadvantage, the blue one. Yes, it, because oh, of my because it has the incessant um, barking. Oh, yeah. Has the incessant yeah. barking? It's either a minus something or a disadvantage. Whatever um, it is. The only one who has the advantage is Livian. That's a fourteen <laughs> to hit, which will miss. So, oh, two more attacks. The first is a. <laughs> 26. Morgus is going, his hands are going to, whoa, 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 whoa. before I do that, um, that ability only works if I'm within 30 feet. Am I within 30 feet of the slot? I know I'm 30, within 30 feet of Zibba. How is that position? You're not. Zibba you are Zibba five ran away. feet too far. Fuck. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, DM. <laughs> um, great. So, that is 13 slashing damage, have to 6. And I need to make nice. a constitution saving throw. I'm fairly decent at those. 18. That saves. Uh, last attack from the blue guy is a 15, which will miss. It stays there. It stays engaged. It's not going to move away. So we go to Godfrey. Uh, he's going to just keep trying to kill this one that's glitching. Yeah. Uh, stabs down with the silvered short sword. 25 to hit. 25 will hit. For 10 points of silvered piercing damage. Nice. And I'm aiming here, please. I have to. You don't have to. I mean, it's <laughs> up to you. Um, Godfrey, as you are up close and personal with this creature. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> I rolled a nat 20, <laughs> but I rolled a three on the vein. Which is and a 17. Wisdom score is, is what? Oh, yeah. I forgot. I haven't been adding that because it hadn't mattered. Uh, minus two. Fifteen. <laughs> There's no way I can beat this. There's oh, no. no. It's just not. I'm, I'm starting it's to feel just, a little bad. No, that's how you move. play the game. Oh. It's, kind of, <laughs> yeah, it's cool. We're meant to win D&D. &D. <laughs> yeah. You did the thing. And the thing not the worked. DMs. <laughs> It's, it's us versus the DM. That's how the game works. Exactly. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let her roll bad. Godfrey, as you are up close and personal with this creature, you notice that the hole that you had pulled the eye from, which was kind of festering and bloodied, has healed in the time that it took you to pull out the eye, look away to listen to thoughts, mm -hmm. and come back to the creature. Okay. I stab it again. Okay. And regenerate it up. <laughs> you lie. <laughs> nope. That, seeing that regenerate just throws Godfrey off. That's a 10 to hit. Yeah, the misses. I would like for Morgus to blur, please. Okay. Um, I'm going to use a kernel shift. I'm going to snap my fingers. There's going to be a really cool echo. And Godfrey will also blur. Reroll that one, please. So with this, do I reroll both of the dice or just one of them? Ooh, Since I was attacking point. at advantage. It's let both. Me, let me read the chrono shift. Okay. Um, I think it just says attack. And you're attacking I at can advantage. Force, I can force the creature to re-roll. Mm -hmm. Period. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the new attack after that chrono shift is a 22. Mm -hmm. How many so instead of missing, have? it takes eight points of uh, silvered piercing damage. Get it. Cool. This poor thing. I'm still crying <laughs> out in like pain in your mind and also screaming that it wants to infect you. Okay, bonus like action to uh, punch it. <laughs> okay. This is also the monster that the ancestral guardians will give disadvantage on if he tries to attack anyone but me. So I feel like they're all just standing around like, can I, can I, do you need help? No? Uh, okay. All right, and they're like kind of like confused on what to do, so they're all just standing there. <laughs> yeah. Twenty-three to hit. Yep. 
eight points of uh, non-magical bludgeoning. Uh, great. I love that. It is wounded. Finally. As you've just been stabbing it as it glitches and shakes in this weird temporal hell. Uh, he'll look up and say, uh, Scylla, can you finish this one? Yeah, I think I can do it. Okay. And as he says that, he's going to move around and then go join Ziba next to the blue slot. Mm -hmm. uh, running up as quickly as he can, just hitting it on its left side. Okay. But that's the end of my turn. Yeah. Morgus. Oh, is it my turn now? Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? It is. Okay. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. I'm just reading a, an effect of something super quick. I know what I want to do. I just need to find it. There it is. Sword problems. Yep. <laughs> okay. So Morgus is not going to move. He's just going to open his wee little mouth and out of his beard is going to whisper a little grovel. So I want the blue one to uh, make a on the uh, a wisdom saving through a DC 17. Okay. I think I'm going to use two different dice. <laughs> Steph from Arcane Hollows, don't do me wrong. Uh-oh. 17. Oh, no. Meets hit. Um, it. Wait. Is that with the minus two? Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> damn it, <Wait>. Steph. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a, that was a saving. Never mind. I couldn't do anything. <laughs> There's after after the little whisper of grovel, Morgus's brow just froze and goes. Eh? Uh, Lizzie just happen. pats his pats his shoulder. <laughs> right, what happens to this to us? Thank you. Bonus action or movement? Uh, I'm going to move forward about 5, 10. Morgus runs into an invisible wall. Again, I I, I can't. <laughs> what is I this map? I don't understand what's happening. I, I want to be like right here next to the this tree stump. Mm -hmm. I just want to move a little closer so I can keep my friends in view. Thank you. I'm happy now. <laughs> That's my turn. Um, great. Everyone, Godfrey can still hear everyone. Um, I don't know if you want to add anything or if you just still have a math well, brain, but. No, at that point, Marcus is like, why didn't it work? It worked last time. <laughs> the music was in the church and she called and it was really cool. Aww. Aww. Zimba. <laughs> okay. On that note, Godfrey has joined you. Godfrey's back. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what do you look like as Godfrey runs up next to you? You've been slashed uh a few times. Maybe a little rough. I don't know exactly what these constitution saves are for, so I'm not sure if it's affecting my clothing or not, but we're definitely going to need to go shopping again. <laughs> yes. you, you think it would be because I'm outgrowing the clothes. No, it's just buying them shredded, which it could be a fashion, could be a style. Let's make it one. <laughs> With that, I really feel that this toad guy should join me on this fashion adventure and get a few slashes of his own. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And that'll be 225s to hit. <laughs> they both hit. <laughs> nice. Great slashing adventures. And that'll be 27 damage. Wow. You added your rage in there? 27? Uh, that was with the rage. Cool. 27, yes. That's a lot. Bonus Where's action or a fashion trend? Why does you do say? have a, a bonus action I forgot about. Sorry, I haven't been asking if you want to use it. I have a bonus action? You have zero. a special sword. 
I know, but I don't really want to use that. That's fine. I, guess. I, don't, I just I don't, I don't, wanted to give you the option. I know, I just don't know what would be effective, and it doesn't feel like, I know. Yeah, it's fine. Well, wait, the moment's not right yet. <laughs> this is a very in-depth just thought that Zippo's having. Yes, it is. This is. It's like, you know, they seem kind of bored. Maybe I could ask them to help me out with that cool sword thing. Show. No, I don't want to do that right now. You know, they have better things to do. They really could just go back. Actually, I should be hitting this again. You know, really, why isn't he on his knees already? I mean, I thought that, you know, they tried saying something. And with Marcus to be a grappler. Like, you found someone else? Am I hearing things? It's Marcus grappler hearing things? <laughs> just many thoughts. <laughs> Amazing. That's Sula. Uh, <clears throat> fully focused as she responds to Godfrey's, can you handle the rest of this? And she mm-hmm. goes, yeah, I think I can handle that. Uh, she swaps one-handed, takes a grip, and goes two-handed on her long sword, and goes in for another strike mm-hmm. against uh, the one in front of her. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be uh, 18 to hit. Mm-hmm. And we're doing... Nice. Uh, 11 damage. Nice. Because we swapped it two handed. It doesn't look very good at all. I'm going to use my other dice that I rolled for this. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> One of them was a negative four, so you know. <laughs> yeah! Oh. Uh, second attack, Scylla. Uh, yeah, that sword comes back around again, and she takes a wide swing on it. This time, ooh, for 16 to hit. Advantage? Not, oh, uh, let's see. Nice. Okay, 17, 22 to hit. Yeah, they both Great. hit, but I just wanted to give you the chance, you know? Aw, thanks. Uh, so for 10 slashing damage. Uh, what does this look like? Uh, that red has dissipated, so this is a clean slice, and it's so fast with the force that she has turned and turned again uh, that it just goes clean through and slides away from itself. Nice. And she flicks her sword clean. Does your like at this, the spirits are just like <sighs> just leave? They're like, <laughs> do, you, do anything? Does your spell dissipate when the creature dies, Morgus, or do you hold it up for a bit? No, it's um, it was a single target, cool. so it's yeah. I'm no longer concentrating. Sweet. Uh, what are you thinking, Sola? <sighs> I felt good. I felt strong and that felt helpful mm. great Libby Libby's gonna step forward uh, a little bit and a little bit more and he's gonna cast a bane <laughs> on that blue guy <laughs> <laughs> no mercy charisma save Frig. It is a charisma thing. Twelve. That does not do it. Livy like steps up a little bit and plays his lyre and whispers, "Give me your luck, please." <gasps> As he you. feels <laughs> just kidding, your I'm piercing just pain in his ear. <laughs> You hear that, Godfrey from the slab. <laughs> I would like to just point out that that was like a spine tingling badass bard moment. Yeah, like Fuck yeah. I've been playing a bard for years. That was amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, bonus action. Uh. The only bonus action I could. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna give a bardic inspiration to Godfrey, and I'm gonna say, I would prefer you not go for the eyes, but do do whatever works for you, man. 
Uh, great. The other guy is dead, but the blue one is alive and it's going to take some tacks. Um, Who looks more slashed, me or him? You. <laughs> you. Uh, great. He's going to try to bite you. Uh, oh, oh wait, weird. I forgot. Bane. Mm -hmm. mm, oh, it doesn't hit. Um, let's <laughs> gonna try to swipe his claws at you. Uh, 14, which will miss. And its third attack will swipe its other hand of claws toward Godfrey. That is a 14. Miss. Oh, miss. But you both notice a few of the slashes and punches from you all start to heal as we head no. to Godfrey. Okay, uh, as its swipe comes down to hit him, Godfrey sidesteps and spins to be behind it, mm -hmm. flanking with Ziba. Mm -hmm. And he's going to try to stab this one in the spine like he did with the red one. Yeah. Uh, 18 to hit. Yep. Going to be seven points of non-magical silver mm -hmm. piercing damage, mm -hmm. and I would like it to make a constitution saving throw as I use stunning strike. Absolutely not. Okay, but that's fine. Uh, ten. That's a failure. Done. I uh, leave the short sword in there and then just punch into the hilt of the short sword to drive it in further. Yeah. Uh, nice. 18 to hit. Yeah. Uh, six points of non-magical bludgeoning. Mm -hmm. And then bonus action, unarmed strike. He's going to back up and just uh, kick in, just like fireman's kick the door into the blade a third time. Oof. Or a natural 20. Nice. So on this one, I'm going to spend my last key point to make it a hand of harm as well. <laughs> Ooh, four rolls, but oh, uh, that's fine. six points of <laughs> non magical bludgeoning plus an additional eight points of necrotic damage. Great. Um, it looks bloody, but he now has an entire sword sticking out of his body, like stuck in to the hilt to his chest. We pin it to the tree yet? Oh, that's a good question. Let's roll a percentile. Do you want to roll it? Or do you want me to roll it? I can I it. could roll it. Yeah! Oh. 95. <laughs> yep, it's stuck to the tree. And stuck. Nice. Hey. And babes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all really did a number on these slats. <laughs> Morgus. Yeah. That's the end of my turn. <laughs> you can still hear thoughts. It lasts a minute. So, no. I think we're like seven rounds in. Morgus is going to move over here. That, like, that little L shape is my movement speed. Mm -hmm. I've got a... I've got a clean shot at this creature, mm -hmm. like a, like around Ziba, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I think Morgus is going to look at the creature and just kind of look down at his hand. <laughs> sort of white and gold fire. Going to show up. <laughs> going to look real tempted. Then he's going to give in and I'm going to firebolt it. Yeah. Give me As it's pinned to a tree. At advantage. <laughs> How does a... Let me just double check my math here. Wow. Um, that's the sound of my firebolt. <laughs> uh, a 19 yeah, yeah. hit. 19 hits. Yeah. Seven and... Uh, eight points of uh, literary fire damage, please. Great. That is half to four. Some of the magical energy is just absorbed into the slad. What about the tree? The tree's okay. 
The slide's large okay. enough. Oh. Okay. All right. That's going to be my turn. Bonus action? No. To Sipa. You said that you go yeah. to the end of your turn. <laughs> Zibba zibba zibba. Wow. Really, this is the longest I've ever been in a rage without combat uh. ending. Uh, <laughs> uh, and speaking on that note, I feel like Zibba's starting to spiral a little bit. And mm. just, you just, I maybe Godfrey's the only one who hears this, but like, they're just gonna, it's just suddenly like, it just becomes like unconnected. And all you keep hearing is like, all of a sudden she, she's like, where there's frogs, there's demons. The, no one's gonna save you. The demons will, are trying to kill you again. You can't let them win. You cannot let them win. And it's just completely spiraling. We don't stay in rage state for very long for a reason. <laughs> and at that, I'm going to attack uh, recklessly mm -hmm. at this thing pinned to a tree. Yeah. For advantage on the first hit, which I will need. Because the even advantage on my highest rolls of 15. Uh, Misa beats it. Oh. Alright. And that'll be for 12 slashing damage nice. on the first attack. And the second attack is a nat 1. So not only is she attacking re like recklessly the first attack just to make something hit, now it's spiraling so out of control that like she almost doesn't ha she doesn't have control over her own sword anymore and is just swinging it wildly around her you do get advantage on the attack because it's stunned and pinned to a tree <laughs> oh i kind of want to live with that that one okay. i liked it yeah it's up to you the other one's still like roll a five it's not like it got much better <laughs> that, that that yep both those miss and attacking recklessly affects all of your attacks for the turn. yeah i'm gonna be at disadvantage next one anyway so the point still stands. Great. We're having a good spiral fest. Scylla. So it turns after finishing that one that she was just on. Uh, and as she runs and gets within about 10 feet, uh, reaches to the ground and pulls up. Mm. Uh, and around the tree come thorn vines that just for extra measure start to wrap around uh, potentially if you could make either a strength or deck save. Stunned and already pinned to the tree. So... Oh. Um, <laughs> great. Yeah, so... <laughs> fantastic. Extra measure this thing gets shrink-wrapped uh, in thorny vines. Did you hear him laugh? My cat just laughed. <laughs> Uh, great. <laughs> Give me your damage. Is there damage to this? There's no. There's not. I'm. I'm just casting adding extra. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just casting extra insurance. Nature's wrath. Great. Livy. Livy. Livy thinks. What would happen if this thing tries to run? And then <laughs> it's going to start. <laughs> And then is going to uh, use a second level dissonant whispers on it. Oh, great! Wisdom save. Mm hmm. If you think that'll help. He's also going to step a little bit closer. If he can. If he can. Four. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Uh, and I also rolled another nat one, but it's a four. Because it's advantage no. for the slot. <laughs> uh, that's 12, and it's going to try to run as far away as it can from me. It can't. It, it well, it's gonna try. Actions while stunned. It's stunned though. It can't even like move and. Oh, uh, well, that's unfortunate. It, it's yeah. stunned, pinned, and now nature <laughs> wrath wrapped to a tree. Yeah. <laughs> I was really hoping it would still try to run and. Uh, <laughs> it get couldn't cut move up, a finger if it wanted fine. to. <laughs> um, you see, its shoulders just do this. 
<laughs> All right. Morgus. Um, this creature is wounded. We're going to flash forward. I need everyone to roll me a d20 and a d4. And whoever gets the highest gets the death blow. And you can describe what this looks like. <clears throat> You rolled an 11 and a 2. You just add them together. A 6. Oh, 17. 5. 13. Earl. A 16 and a 3. 19. Okay, Morgus. I got a 12 total. All right, Livy, what does this look like as you take down this creature? Can I ask um, to do something before it gets taken down sure. that's not combat related? Yeah, what would you like to do? Uh, Godfrey just kind of wants to get to its head and put a hand on it and just say, who sent you and what is your purpose here? And I'm going to try, if I can, to use the part of detect thoughts where I delve deeper. Mm, yeah. The creature resists and also is in a lot of pain and it's dying and it's there's a lot of fucking going on. But <clears throat> as you dive deeper into its thoughts, you feel this deep need to infect, to spawn, to thrive, to take over. This is a, a creature that is not of this plane. It's not from here. It purely wants to just infect people with a disease that creates more of its kind. Godfrey, Livy. get out of there. I get out of there. And Livy is going to, like, um, play what about on his life. <laughs> oh, Ziva's just now getting to the point where she's like, I don't want to die, I don't want to die, and she's just tacking, like, anything around her. Oh. So. Oh. Okay. I'll, I'll try to grab Ziva's arm as I'm, like, coming by after Livy says that and go, Ziva, Livy's got something. Come on. <laughs> And Livy's going to uh, sister. Let's go. She got flail right. a little bit, but you can probably rank her in. There's no control right now. Okay. Livy's just going down to much and like beast. at his last note, he is going to whisper, "Now break." As its mind cracks open, you're casting and shatter. And it just falls to the ground. Um, <sighs> I was it's not more. A door. I was telling Godfrey to get out of its mind. Because uh, I, cause I was using the dissonant whisper. Oh, yeah. To just... Damn. It has a nosebleed as it, as it um, falls to the ground. Its eyes, like, roll back into its skull. Damn. That is it. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, follow us, like us, subscribe, do all the things and all the places that you have enjoyed this content. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, if you would like, we are looking to expand our team, expand our offerings as a studio. So become a monthly donator on our Ko-Fi, ko-fi.com backslash Autumn Studio. The link is wherever you are looking, possibly in the chat, possibly in the description. Uh, we also have the book collection of short stories from Rick Monish's NPCs written by me, Sierra, uh, on pre-order wherever you like to get your books. I recommend supporting your local bookstore, and if not, heading over to our website and pre-ordering directly from us. Um, but you can also find it on Amazon and Barnes and & Noble and anywhere else that you find books. Intro and outro by Nolan Clark, everything else by myself and the cast. I hope you have a great day. Mm -hmm.